Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the long overdue review of the Singer Stitch So Quick. You know, it's a handheld sewing machine actually. And I was so excited when I bought it. I was so excited. I bought it um, for paper crafting. So um, this is not a review for um, sewing any fabric. <laughs> just so you know, if you wanted to see one, this is not one. I'm just going to saw on paper <laughs> because that's what I bought it for. It came in this um, little box and it was not expensive at all. I mean, it depends, of course, what you see expensive or not. It was probably like 20 or $25. If I have a link, I will put it in the video description for you. So the batteries did not come included, but they included, um, I'm not sure how you call those. Are those bobs or something? <laughs> so there is black, blue, red, and the white one was on here already. I'm pretty sure it was. And also there was a piece of fabric and they stitched on it already. I tried to do the same, but this is what I hate about it. <laughs> if you don't pay attention, your stitching will just come right off. Look, it stitches, but if you pull the whole thing, can you see it? So this didn't belong there, this piece, because this was something I tried. But I think you can see it's stitched right here, right? And if I pull on it, it comes right off. So you have to be very careful with your paper <laughs> crafting. You have to um, kind of make a knot before it comes apart, if that makes sense. So I did use it on a piece of paper here. But I will show you in a second. Let me just show you what came in it. Then there is this thing. This thing um, goes right here. When you take this off, you can put this on. And then um, you can buy the normal thread and do it with a normal thread. It also comes with three more needles and the threading thingy. You know, so it's easier for you to thread through the needle. And there is that. And then you have to buy batteries, double A batteries, because it does not have a cable or anything. You need four batteries for that. I wish it had also a cable. This thing, and it, I had the problem before already when I put the batteries in, it's, um, you have to kind of, push and uh, move. <laughs> it's a little bit complicated. I wish it was easier, <laughs> but it's not that easy. Even though it's called stitch so quick, it's not so quick, <laughs> at least for paper crafting, but it's still pretty good. So this is the piece I made. As you can see, I did saw before there are holes, but it just came apart before I could even get there. So, you know, you have to be careful. Of course, I didn't do it many times and that's why I still don't know exactly you know, I think everything, if you do it a lot of times, you kind of get the hang of it. But it does stitch, and I did make a knot, so then it worked out. And um, it also has this little manual here, how to thread it and stuff like that. And so let's thread it, because I never did. And I want to see if it's super easy, because, you know... I think it is super easy. What I want to look at is where is it threaded? <laughs> Before I thread it, maybe I should take a picture. <laughs> so it goes through the first, through the second, through the third, and then through the needle. Let's just take this one off. Uh-oh, now I don't know how it works. <laughs> okay, now let's put this one on. It should actually just, you know, click on there. And then first, my vision is not good at all. So, you know, this is very, for those of you who wear glasses and still can't see, there you go. The same as me. Of course, you have the threader there, but who wants to make it easy on themselves? I don't. It's all very small, you know? You have to kind of get there. 
very small but it's also a handheld sewing machine so I don't expect it to be huge and now all I have to do is to thread it through my needle uh oh is that the it has like this um, wheel here so you can make it higher but I'm pretty sure this is as high as it goes so I don't think I can thread it without the help help me right here let's use the little help I remember my grandma had this and since then I never used it <laughs> so <laughs> you know I'm always making those reviews for people who are like me and who don't know what they are doing it's not for professionals if you like a sewing professional do not watch my review because you are going to cry probably did we do it i think yes it's threaded yay now i can i should be able to just move it back here so you know it doesn't go to waste <laughs> all of it okay wonderful look let's see if i did it the right way somehow it goes around the needle and i don't really like that i don't think it was done this way let me just take a piece of paper do i have anything here i'm just gonna rip one out of my book something that has words all over wow the chapters end so quick in this book look at that it's only one page and the chapter is gone. How funny is that? I wanted to read this book, but then I gave up and I started crafting. <laughs> okay, I'm going to fold this because I'm going to just make little baggies. And I want this to be ripped off so it's not very straight and pretty because who likes straight and pretty, right? Okay. And I'm just going to cut off the upper part. Now, so it is pretty because kind of we do like pretty, right? <laughs> so there is that. And now I'm going to try. So what I noticed, that I have to pull up this one to put anything in the back or underneath. But if I hold it and I pull it, I need a third hand to get my paper. So I was like, oh, sure, I can do it like that. But if I do it like that, that this one pushes down, <laughs> which is not very practical for me. I'm not quite sure what I'm doing wrong, but it's pretty hard for me to stick the paper down there because I have to hold somewhere to pull this one up. So I'm gonna go out of frame, push it against my stomach and you know, there it is. I just need to kind of put the paper underneath. See, my needle is too low, so I have to do it once again. I have to push it underneath, uh, like against my stomach. It does not work otherwise for me. Okay, I have it in there. Now, all I have to do is to push the button and it should work. Okay. Now here at the end, I have to be super careful to not to pull this thing because if I pull, it's gonna come apart and I do not want that. So what I need to do is to hold it and to cut it off. And it looks like this. Now it missed a stitch or two right there. You see, the back looks very pretty but it missed the stitcher too. And now there is the thing I have to do. If I don't do anything here, then one pull will open up the whole stitching. And um, what I did was I took my little needle. I kind of went through the loop here. I hope that works now as well. I don't know if you can see, you can probably not see. I went through the loop and I took is it gonna work now? I need to take this piece out from the other side of the loop. So I'm gonna try, let me see. Okay, 
I will show you in a second once I have the needle. So I have the loop on the needle and it's like crocheting. You have to get it. I wish I had a hook, you know, so with a hook, with something hooky, <laughs> hooky, is there a word like that? It would be easier to get this through, but I think I got it. Did I? Yes. So I just have to get it through the loop before I pull on it. So that makes a little knot. Yeah, there's that. Now you tell me how hard or easy this is. I feel like it's pretty hard because I have to do... Maybe I'm just not patient enough, but I feel like at the end it's just hard because I have to try to take it out without pulling on it. I'm going to do it once again. So if this happens, all you have to do is to kind of open it up again. Move the wheel here. And there is that. And now I have to push it underneath again. And I just cannot. Maybe my finger is not strong enough. But it's hard for me to do it this way. I can, but it's really, on most days, my finger will not do it. But hey, I did it now. And I'm going to do it just once again. Push the button. And now it doesn't... You see that? You will see it in a second. Now look, it did not start stitching where I wanted to. Now I want to show you what I mean. So if this happens and you, for some reason, pull a little, that's it. Look, that's it. It came apart all the way till the middle. So if for some reason you pull just a tiny bit, it's all going to come apart. So there is nothing that holds it, which is weird. I would assume, oh, what am I doing? I would assume that there would be something to hold it in place. But like I said, I don't saw. So that was just my my assumption as a normal person. So I'm going to rip this part off and try it again. So yeah, if you are doing this, be patient because you will have to learn. Now let me try and get this apart again and you can stop you know you don't have to go all the way you can push and then stop push hold stop whatever you want to do i go a little bit farther or i try but it doesn't always work so i can make my loop you know but it really does not always work. So I have to make the loop somehow from the inside here. It's weird. Let me tell you. It's a lot of work to, to make the little knot. I don't know. I'm, I'm torn. I must say I'm torn. If there is an easier way, maybe I just don't know. You know, that's the thing. If there is an easier way to make the little knot there, please let me know because the knot is just annoying to me. I don't know. I was thinking, you know, like in a normal machine, you could probably just go forth and then a little bit back and a little bit forth and it should be all right. But this one you can pull. It doesn't matter. It doesn't come apart. Even though here it didn't start at the beginning again which is annoying again. But for for crafting, if you do paper crafting, you mostly want this messed up look, right? You mostly do anyways. You go for a messed up look anyways. But still, I would like for it to stitch better. So maybe I will break down and get a normal one. You know, they say you can get one cheaper but then it's so big and I'm not gonna sew all the time so I don't know I don't know guys I'm torn I can't say for sure oh I love this one or I don't like this one because it's like a love hate right now I hate that I have to do the knot I was very disappointed that it came apart I must say you know let's saw this piece of fabric for you just because. 
So if I would be sewing fabric, and I'm done here, and I don't want more, then when I try to pull it out, it will be a problem already because right there it starts to come apart right away. So you have to be very careful. And if you're a crafter like me, you're not that careful that, you know, you do something and it doesn't come apart. So I don't know. I will do a little more, you know, and try to get better because sometimes it's just us who cannot do stuff. <laughs> Okay, I'll talk for me, not for us. Sometimes it's me because I cannot do stuff, <laughs> but it's kind of complicated. I must say that. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this anyways. Maybe it gave you an idea of if you do want to buy one or do not want to buy one. But um, I was super excited, just extremely excited to get one. But, you know, then it happens that it, it just is not like I thought it would be. Let's say it this way. It's not as easy as I assumed. How does it go back in here? I have no idea. Oh, like that. <laughs> I cannot give it back. I did have it for a while now <laughs> before I um, made the review. So I'm not gonna give it back, but um, yeah, I'm torn. Let me know in the comments. What do you think? What am I doing wrong? Or is it just this way? Are they all this way? You know, what would you, um, what's your advice if I just want to play around and saw some paper because, you know, I'm, I'm not gonna make a skirt or a dress or pants or anything like that ever in my life. I swear. <laughs> I'm just not into that. But for paper crafting to maybe, I don't know, like this, make little pockets or something like that, or just, um, I also like this, um, zigzag stitch. I love it, but this one doesn't do anything. Just this straight one. So yeah, let me know what's your advice for me, if that's what I'm looking for. And I hope you enjoyed it anyways. And if you did, thumbs up as always, share, subscribe, and enjoy your day. I see you soon. Bye-bye.